Bites, it's Reagan, and I hope you had an amazing Christmas and got really good, got some really good goodies. But since 2015 is almost over, I decided to do top five Disney movies of 2015. Number five on this list, we had Avengers Age of Ultron. So this is the second Avengers and I had super high expectations for this movie considering how amazing the first Avengers was. I was like, oh, it's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be a great movie. Then I get to the theater and I see the first, probably, I see the first like five minutes of it and I was like, oh, this is not gonna be as good because the beginning it was so CGI and stuff. It looked like a video game. And I was going, oh. I don't really like that. I like it to be as real as possible when I go see movies. But, or if it's fake, I like it to seem as real. You know what I'm saying? So it looked a little CGI or like very video gamey there and fake. And then the plot, I just feel like it wasn't as good. Um, it wasn't as com comedic. You could kind of feel tension between the Avengers because they're kind of prepping it for Captain America Civil War. And so there's like everyone split or everyone's fighting each other, whatever. So I kind of thought, Ugh, this is, that's like a lot going on. So I didn't like it as much as the first one. That's why it's number five and not number one. For number four on this list, we have Inside Out. Okay, so I really like this movie. It was a great movie. I thought it was a really cool concept that Pixar came up with, with having emotions as like the main characters. Like, that's pretty interesting and I really liked it. I enjoyed it. And um, I thought it was it was funny. It was very emotional, <laughs> which I think what they were going for. I cried, I laughed, I did a bunch of stuff and I thought it was really good. And the plot was pretty good. Uh, considering I'm like, I'm 15. I probably would have enjoyed it better if I was younger, but still, it was a really good movie. Number three on our list, we have Cinderella. Now, this movie I had also had high expectations for it, considering how amazing the classic is Cinderella and the classic Disney animated movie. It was really pretty, and I love the cinematography of the whole movie. It was beautiful. Like, all the shots, it was so pretty. And um, the plot was very true to the animated classic. It was great. You got a little bit more backstory with it. And I thought it was a really good. And I love Lily James because she's also in Downton Abbey. And um, of course, I love it, Downton Abbey. For number two on our list, we have another Marvel movie, Ant-Man. I, I, Ant Man, oh my gosh, Baskin Robbins always finds out. <laughs> that movie was hilarious. And Paul Rudd is like, kind of like, an, you wouldn't really think of him as a superhero, but he did such an amazing job. And it was really good. I loved it. Uh, Louise, like when he was telling his story and stuff, his stories are hilarious. You know, I know this guy, and then Carlos, and then, it was so funny. And if you haven't seen Ant Man, I encourage you to watch it because that's hilarious. And I, the story is all really good. Uh, Yellow Jacket, uh, Cross, he's really evil, and he's great for that character. I just thought it was very good, a very good Marvel movie, and very well as executed. For number one, you guys probably already know, but it's Star Wars The Force Awakens. Only a good movie I could see twice in 24 hours in movie theater, a movie theater. And it was, it's really good. I love it because they use, I love using the old friends, new concepts, all this stuff. And it's really cool, and especially since the new trilogy gave us so much backstory and so much stuff that's about this universe that we know so much more than we did with the original trilogy. So it's really great. This one, I it wasn't as much information, which I think it wasn't supposed to be. Even though it's like the first one, I feel this ne the next one will get more information, like who's Ray's dad and things like that, or who's Ray's parents and stuff. But it was really good. I loved it. Music was amazing, of course, because John Williams, and 
it was just a fantastic movie and I even did a review on it which I'll have linked in the bio so that's my top five Disney movies of 2015 and thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe because I love when you guys subscribe and I'll have more Disney videos coming up in 2016